What do you think, Matt? I can't use this shit, man. <laughs> is going on the road today and perfect time the fog lights came in so we're gonna get rid of these yellow fogged up fogged up fog lights anyways we're gonna get rid of those putting those the new ones they should be a lot nicer the led and they got a daytime running light i'm not, I'm not sure if they're plug and play but uh we'll see how it goes <laughs> okay, well, i'm not even sure if there's connectors left under this old girl that looks like some kind of wire connector there i think it might be plug and play actually looks like Three ten mil bolts. Yeah, it's pretty good timing. It's actually my birthday day, also. Chuck on the road, new fog lights. Be pretty cool. Well, there's a side by side comparison. That's quite the difference. That's not uh, very clear at all. Well, I guess this is the driver's side. Seeing as the the flat spots the opposite of this one. So then this would be the passenger. I just gotta switch these clips over onto this one. And you ready to install? M Maddie's drinking my birthday holy water. Green and blue, P fucking. Apparently, it's pretty strong. Holy water. So on these fog lights, if you get if you're doing the same fog lights, you're gonna notice there's an extra wire here. That's for the daytime running lights, which is the strip across there. So if you want that to go on when your truck's running, you need to connect that to either the running lights and your headlight. Use a voltage meter and the connector and until you find which pin lights up kind of thing when your daytime running lights are on you can wire it to that something like that so there's how they look without the running light you can't really see it on the camera it's bright but oh no i took that one it was that one was yellow so it looked much better than that Fuck yeah much better what do you think matt looks good yeah yeah <laughs> I can't use this shit, man. <laughs> what up? <Josh. laughs> what? I'm fucking tired. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now the Cummins on the road, we're doing a bit of maintenance on it. Um, we're going to do the CCV filter here. It's the crankcase vent filter. It's just on top of your valve cover here. And um, it's, it's a good thing to do because uh, otherwise your turbo starts sucking in oil and crap. You don't want that. Um, some people, they'll gut this and they'll put a hose like the old big, old Cummins had a dump tube to the ground kind of thing. I might do that eventually, but uh, for now, I'm just going to put the new one in. I'll keep the old one. Maybe do that too eventually kind of thing. But um, I'll get in this right now. I think it's a bunch of 8 mil bolts. I haven't really taken a look. It's been a while since I've done this. But I'm pretty sure it's a bunch of 8 mils in the oil cap. And then I think it just pops off, pop new one in. Pretty easy job. More boost. More. I'm gonna do a wipe, it's pretty dirty before I pull that off. Alright, give that a bit of a wipe, cleaned it up a little. We'll get this off, get the new one on there. Go for the drive. So, I've watched some videos where guys got them and they do the, the drip tube. Um, some say you need two, two of them to make it work because you're gonna need to break one. I've seen other videos where they don't, I'm not sure, I'm gonna try and do it without. I'm just gonna try and use my old one, got it kind of grip out all the little dirty crap. Uh, but um, I'm not do that right now. Maybe I'll do another video on that later. We'll see. For now, this will be good for a while still. So. Just don't want it sucking in that crap, that's all.
Let's clean the seal up now. Let's get the old new one back in. I All right, there we go. I'll probably just give that a wipe down, clean it up a bit. It's all set.